Hello my dear friends, this is Sandeep Kataria, CEO of ACS Consultants. We are a management consulting firm into careers, recruitments, talent search and personality development. This is the second video on the series, The Mistakes CEO Aspirants Make in the Interview. If you have not watched the first video, then here is the link. So now let us start with mistake number six, which is being ambiguous. Many people are lucky enough to reach a senior position in the management, which is not necessarily the result of their hard work or their talent. Having reached there, they now want to continue to occupy that position and they are too scared to disturb others. Therefore, they would not like to learn new things. They would let the things happen as they are. They have no involvement in finance, accounts, production, marketing, human resource, etc. Naturally, when they come for the interview, they do not have the in-depth knowledge of the various departments and the running of it in their existing organization. It is my advice that when you are fully involved into the day-to-day -day working as well as long-term goals achievement of your current organization, you would definitely have good idea of the working of your company. The next suggestion is being casual. Most of the CEO aspirant candidates falling in this category of mistake are dressed inappropriately. They are not bothered about their presentation. They are not bothered about the formal dressing. And did you know that more than 50% of the communication is non-verbal communication? Therefore, the interviewers are bound to take notice of the way you dress or the way you sit in the interview or the way you behave in the interview without you even saying a single word. Now just imagine that if you are casual during the interview, are you not going to be casual about your working? Are you not going to be casual towards your employees, juniors, vendors and the clients? Do not make this mistake and be best, be at your best, be presentable. The eighth mistake, first biodata or incorrect claims. It is my experience that as high as 70% of the people have made some adjustments in their CV or the resume about education, the number of years, the dates of working in an organization or the claims they are making about their achievements. Even if the claim is that you know they have made a profit of 200 million dollars whereas the actual is 180 million dollars it is still a mistake please avoid such mistakes because even if you get selected now maybe at a later date if it is found out it would be held against you and can have far-reaching implications and consequences on your career so these were three mistakes please do watch our next video we're going to be where we're going to talk about some more mistakes.